Hi, my name is Andrew, and uh, it's my first YouTube video. Just want to show you what I built here. This is uh, Lord Kelvin's 1867 or 1887 uh, inducer machine, as he called it. What it is, I'm using water as a medium from this one gallon container. Two valves here, which are controlling the flow of water. Coming down, I'm gonna I have a nice little um, nozzle I got off a uh, air pump over here, and another nozzle over here. So I have controlled the amount of water, which is roughly um, 30. Uh, I mean, sorry, 50 milliliters every 35 seconds. But that's really just a rough estimate. There's no really, you know, overall pressure that's constant throughout this whole thing. It's just a simple way to show what's going on. So right before uh, the water passed through these copper uh, tubes, I got one here and one over here. They separate separate water droplets. And because water is a um, dipole molecule, basically, it has magnetic properties, north and south, positive and negative. So it induces an electrical current onto the copper, just how induction law state, you know, when the magnet passes over a, uh, a uh, material or a conden uh, conductor. So here you have your tube, your pipe, I mean electrical pipe that is wrapped around with a lot of insulator. Comes all the way over here, here, there, there. And they meet up here in the middle. And I'm gonna see if I can get a charge. Yeah. So basically what this is is just only doing a couple right there you're seeing a charge is only about I don't know maybe a millimeter. Right from my head. Um before I was getting about four millimeters away. What's going on though is a lot of water is leaking out basically right now. And I'm not able to get the full discharge. So right now, um, the machine's no longer working. Uh, it's about let it run for about 10 minutes. All of a sudden, it just stopped working. I think too much water was building up over here, arcing out. I'm just losing the uh, uh, losing the voltage somewhere because it's not insulated well enough. So that is why I'm gonna um, redesign some of it. But um, something I want to show of how much voltage is being made. Made up a nice little card right here. And uh, this is making roughly, depending on which scale you're using, I don't know if you want to do um, for every one millimeter it takes a thousand volts or three thousand volts. So I don't know which one's more credible right now. So I'm just going to go a rough estimate right here. The biggest one I have got was a full centimeter. So that's very nice to have. So that's either uh, 10,000 volts or about a little over 3,000 volts. But on average, the spark I was getting was between 2.5 millimeters to 5 millimeters. And that was being done, I don't know, about every 5 to 6 seconds. So, not bad. There's a lot of uh, improvements I have to make on this design, but um, it's just nice to finally see some results. Um, yeah, so not bad.